Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of the Dimensionalist. I'm a Dimensionalist. Uh, today's topic is going to be about Ascension process again. And uh, what I'm touching based on in the topic within Ascension uh, process is uh, actually ascending, uh, releasing the physical vehicle, how and why the physical vehicle needs to be released, and what happens when the physical body is released, um, anchoring light, love and light, and actually completing the Ascension process and what occurs afterward. Okay, um, you come to realize your personal growth and it does it does help your ascension process and there's no further initiations and, and, and on the physical plane once you accomplish the ascension and complete the 12th degree. Um, I'm reading from notes and what I gotta say is Anchoring, one must anchor from the third dimensional chakra grids to the ninth dimensional chakra grids completely. Open, open and anchor, open, activate and anchor all the chakras from third dimensional to ninth dimensional. And what's called chakra grid is because it's, it's, it's looking at the scope of all the chakras in the third dimension. There's seven chakras in the physical body, but there's also chakras in the fourth dimension. And that's, there's a grid there that you access those, those chakras. A a uh, anchoring the fourth dimensional chakras, fifth dimensional, sixth dimensional, seventh dimensional, eighth dimensional, and ninth dimensional chakras. And at the completion of the last initiation, 12th degree, you anchor, the highest one you can anchor is the 49th chakra up to 50 up to 99.9% .9 of the 50th chakra into the physical, into the crown, and the crown, the crown chakra. Because all your your interfacing, since you're so physical, even though the chakras that are above the head, you're you're integrating those in your crown, so you can instantly reference and access all those all those chakras. Because there's a chakra you can access and automatically be able to teleport by locating things at point you have the consciousness of. Um, uh, knowing you can uh, you can ascend, teleport, by locate, and, and access the body of light. It's a lot, comes a lot easier than just consciously thinking and trying to think you're somewhere else physically, and 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 your, your thoughts become very very sensitive to reality in yourself and your mind. And if you get that far, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. And and still maintain the physical vehicle at that point. Anchoring the 49th chakra and only 99.99% of the 50th chakra because you can't completely anchor the entire 50th chakra Because once you anchor the 50th chakra anchor the entire ninth dimensional chakra grid anchor the 12th body of light and completely integrated your foot you, you shoot your physical body instantly becomes the etheric body at that point and you become the physical become the etheric body that has your your emotional body astral body mental body and spiritual body at uh, what would be physical death, uh, not here on the physical plane at that point, because in the higher planes and dimensions, you're at a higher frequency. You're accessing higher states of consciousness. Your physical vehicle, your 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 vehicle, your etheric, astral, um, mental body, and spiritual body is in a higher plane and dimension. So you're you're just in a higher vibration completely um, at that point, and somewhere different than just the physical plane. And that's why your frequency needs to be rise. So you match, you match that dimension. Your physical body is an atomic structure that can get there. You know, um, it's not here. You can't physically go left, right, up, down. You know, uh, in, in in any direction, vertically, horizontally, and diagonally, anything like that, in and out, and stuff of those stuff of that nature. It's the frequency that's rising that accesses that accesses its way outside this dimension, uh, the physical plane, for instance. So, um, yeah, reading from notes again. So, yeah, uh, just keep that in mind about, you know, accomplishing this uh, stuff. And uh, there's still movement that can be take place. Make sure you, you, you still do love and life and service that increases your light quotient. You also pass initiations doing that. Um... You, you, you apply your knowledge, you get to gain wisdom, and that wisdom will multiply and also you can apply more knowledge to gain more wisdom, and you'll have a feeling of serenity uh, and be serene 
and peaceful knowing you can accomplish those things and such a letting go of the negative ego fear separation consciousness and stuff of that nature um so so it's necessary to complete the high the uh last initiation and what happens at the physical uh at getting this completing the ascension process is uh build your light quote and anchor to Anchor to 36 chakra and a crown chakra, and um, the 49 up to the 49th, almost 99.9% uh, uh, of the pythias chakra. And um, and knowing that you also need to integrate the 12 strands of DNA from the etheric body into the physical vehicle. And that'll allow you to um, uh, complete the ascension process. Also, all all these things happen simultaneously, but everything also does happen one by one in its own section. If you're working on trying to integrate the twelve strands of DNA, and you're not trying to anchor the chakras, then you're not gonna. You're probably not gonna have union of the, the, the twelve strands of DNA physical body along with the chakras. They kind of go hand in hand. At one point, you'll 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 attain both at once, but it's kind of hard not to get both of them at the same time. Is that is that making sense? Um, but uh, it is to make sure you know you have a quest on the Octarians, you know, meditating and ask the Octarians to help with the creation of twelve strands DNA in my etheric body, and ask that when you go to sleep, meditate, you know, meditate and pray, and they'll recreate it for you. And then and then over time, you ask for Metatron to increase your light quotient and to um, help. And then the 12 archangels to help integrate those 12 strands in your physical vehicle. Because once it's created in an etheric, etheric body, it's ready for transference into the physical body where your etheric body is the exact replica of the physical body, just slightly bigger than your physical body that you see physically. It's just at a higher frequency. Okay, let's check my notes. Okay, um, okay. An area growth uh, upon almost completing the entire ascension process. And of course, you can stay, you can stay to without having to ascend instantly you'll be able to know when you're at the highest light quotient and after you complete all the initiations you can refine and develop your advanced ascension uh, abilities superpowers uh, as some would think is telepathic abilities uh, by locating teleporting transfiguring shape-shifting multi-dimensional consciousness uh, Materialization of objects, that's that's a very, very good one. And dematerialization. Um, just to mention some, uh, my personally like uh, psychokinesis, um, psychometry, feeling and knowing objects from afar, uh, and things of that nature. Um, and I know that being of service helps, and uh, empath and sympathy helps drastically with understanding the ascension process and also with um, trying to see yourself from everybody's point of view of how you're interacting in reality and that helps anchor the soul merge and uh, you'll be able to consciously ascend knowing you consciously work towards not just your selfish self you know being selfish but doing something for someone and knowing that they're looking at you through their eyes you know, try to see what how they perceive reality as much as possible. Doesn't mean try to figure out everything about someone's reality, but but obviously when you interface with someone, there's understanding that you're there, the surroundings, and understanding how you interface with them, positivity and stuff, um, being created. That definitely helps anchor a lot of love and light. That's why when you, when people meet people, people love people the way they look, and they get a lot of positivity from it, and friendships and bonds bonds occur. Uh, there. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video. Uh, I'm just wanted to touch bases on all that and let y'all know that you know, stay strong, understand light and dark, master your emotions, master your thoughts. Um, understand where thoughts come from. Uh, know what you like thinking about. You can choose your thoughts. Um choose things you love thinking about that's positive um, and increase your light quote using 
uh, religious material and or being love and light and asking the higher dimensional beings, ascended masters to anchor light in your body and that you will definitely move towards uh, mastery of the physical plane and completion of the 12th degree, 7th degree in um, Joshua David Stone's uh, material, but the 12th degree in Brian Grattan's system of ascension um, and things of that nature helps dissect and, and bring other people consciously understanding their thoughts into higher states of consciousness. That's why there's different uh, meditations, uh, initiation levels that all does the same thing, but someone might divide them into seven pieces instead of 12. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed another video of Dimensionalist. Remember, I'm a Dimensionalist. That's this in planes and dimensions, teaching ascension process, uh, reaching higher state of consciousness, multidimensional body. You'll learn it here. Peace.